In this video, let's learn about the histology of the cerebellar cortex. The cerebellum lies in the posterior cranial fossa and like the cerebrum, the cerebellum has a superficial layer of the grey matter that is called the cerebellar cortex. And now let's talk about the proper histology of the cerebellar cortex. The cerebellar cortex has a uniform structure in the all parts of the cerebellum and it is divided into three layers. The molecular layer, the Purkinje layer and the granular layer. The molecular layer is the most superficial layer of the cerebellar cortex. The Purkinje cell layer contains the Purkinje cells and the granular layer it rests on the white matter below. And now coming to the types of cells, those are the types of neurons, those are present in the cerebellar cortex and these are of five types. The first one is the Purkinje cells, the second type are the granule cells, the third type is the outer or the external stellate cells, the fourth type is the basket cells and the final type is the Golgi cells. Now let's talk about the first three layers of the cerebellar cortex then we will discuss about the neurons. Let's label this diagram. In this diagram this is the molecular layer and these are the Purkinje cells and the layer of which the Purkinje cells are present is called as the Purkinje layer and the third layer is the granular layer and this layer which contains these many granules is called as the granular layer and this inside is the white matter and this hole is the volume at first let's talk about the first layer that is the most superficial layer that is the molecular layer the molecular layer is the superficial layer as we already know and it is situated just below to the pia matter so this one is the pia matter this molecular layer contains more myelinated and unmyelinated cells and it contains of two types of cells the stellate cells and the basket cells the stellate cells are situated in the superficial part of the molecular layer and the basket cells are situated in the deeper layer. The stellate cells lies in the outer superficial layer of the molecular layer of the cells and their processes are confined to the molecular layer while the dendrite synapse with the parallel fiber and the axon synapse with the dendrite of the below Purkinje cells those are near to their origin. And the basket layer lies deeper in the molecular layer of the cerebellar cortex and they receive recurrent collaterals from the Purkinje cell layer and the basket cells are called as basket cells because the axons of these cells are branched and they form a network that is why it is called as the basket cell and coming to the second layer that is the Purkinje cell layer the Purkinje cell layer contains of the flash shaped cells. The Purkinje cell layer consists of the flash shaped cell bodies. Those are called as the Purkinje cells. The Purkinje cells are evenly placed. So this is the Purkinje shaped cell. And the dendrite arises from the neck of this flash shaped cell. And it passes upwards into the molecular layer. And here it divides and subdivides to form a dendritic tree. And the branches of this tree lie in one plane. In this diagram you can see it here. These are all the dendritic trees formed by these Purkinje cells. And all these Purkinje cells are evenly placed. So these are the dendritic trees. And the axons of this Purkinje cell layer enters into the granular layer. And they enter the white matter. So so this is the dendrite and this is the Purkinje cell body that is the flash shaped cell and the axons pass through the granular layer and they enter the white matter and coming to the third layer that is the granular layer it is the innermost layer and it consists of numerous granule cells and few Golgi cells the granule stains very deeply by the hematoxylin stain and learning about the granule the granule cells are very small numerous spherical neurons 
that occupy the greater part of the granular layer. In the remaining spaces are not occupied by these cells and these spaces are called as the cerebellar islands. And these islands are occupied by special synaptic structures. Those are called as the glomeruli. And these granules gives off 3 to 5 dendrites which are shot in these end by entering the glomeruli and the granule cells receive impulses from the efferent fibers and coming to the Golgi cells the Golgi neurons are the large stellate cells those lie in the granular layer just deep to the Purkinje cells so these are the Purkinje cells and these Golgi cells lie deeper to them and remember the Golgi cells are the GABAergic inhibitory neurons and they dendrites enter the molecular layer where they branch profusely and they synapse with the parallel fibers those are present in the molecular layer and finally we should remember the efferent fibers and the efferent fibers of the cerebellar cortex the efferent fibers are of two types the first one is mossy fibers and the second one is the climbing fibers and the efferent fibers these efferent fibers are the axons of the Purkinje cells and also the fibers from the dentate emboliform the fastigial nucleus also leaves the cerebellum through the inferior cerebellar peduncle so guys this is all about the histology of the cerebellar cortex so remember it contains of three layers the molecular layer the Purkinje cell layer and the granular layer and it contains of five types of neurons those are the Purkinje cell layer those are present in the Purkinje cell layer as the name suggests and the granule cell this granule cell is present in the granular layer as the name suggests the granular the outer or the external stellate cells are present in the molecular layer with the basket cells and the remaining cells are the Golgi cells which are also present in the granular layer so you should remember these five neurons in these three layers so this is all about the histology of the cerebellar cortex And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.